Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read data from web using fread method in R programming. So first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take some data from web in CSV format. And now to process that we need two packages. So open your R studio or R terminal and then install two set of packages. In my case, I have R studio and I'm going to install packages from tools then install packages here you can type in package number one which is curl then space data dot table these two packages I want you to install in your R studio now click on cancel now you can see that you will be able to use these two packages in your code now create one R script inside your R studio and then type in library and inside the function simply type in data table. Now in next line I want you to simply create one variable let's say my data which is going to hold our data and then type in fread method and within single quotes I'm going to post the URL to that CSV file which will have our data online okay now in the next line I want you to use head so that it can read the first row and the data onwards from our my data okay so now let's run this code you can select entirely or you can select step by step so simply run this okay and it will show you information about library data table then next thing run your next line it will download the content from that specific URL and then finally run your command head my data now let me show you how this data looks it has the column season area gear type time toes and by catch and total six rows there okay so we have like six columns and six rows within this data from the web okay so what we did here is we are using fread method and passing it the url of csv file you can have dot dat file dot csv file or xml file or even your excel spreadsheet Okay, so in case of TSV and CSV data, you would be able to process it properly using your data table library. So first thing we call for data table library and then we call this fread method so that it can store the content into my data and then used head method and showing our data in structured so you get the idea of how to read from web with a method.